Python here, guys, and today we are talking about the Flywoo Goku stack. This is the Goku, and in case you weren't aware, the performance of this thing is over 9,000. It's over 9,000! What 9,000? This is, uh, Fly was cleverly named. I'm not sure if they're paying licensing to be able to use that name, but who knows? But, uh, I'm really, really liking the pad layout on this thing. Uh, you have all of your pads around. The pads on the flight controller are a little bit small, but we're gonna dive a little bit closer on the bench. The pads on the ESC, however, are exceptionally nice and large. They have holes or pads uh, on both the motor pads and the power leads. You also have pads at the front if you would like to hard solder instead of using the harness. And the most notable thing about this is that it has, I believe these are actually addressable LEDs. It has four LEDs in each corner of the ESC. So instead of soldering up LED strips uh, for your quad, you can just use this and you already will have those lights on board without any additional insulation or soldering. And you can see it comes with uh, some hardware here, some metal stack screws. I really like that. Uh, it comes with the harness. I don't think it actually comes with an XT60 connector, uh, but it does have some gummies in there for you to be able to build your stack, which I do like. Um, and it also comes with a capacitor. This is a 35470 size capacitor. Oh, I love how they're lined up. You have 3.3 and 5 volt and ground over here. So this whole side is basically like receiver and uarts over here on this side you have your uh tx6 and rx6 for crossfire okay here is essentially a replica of the harness connector so you have your motor outputs over here um led stuff over here now check out this this is pretty beefy and uh, it looks it's got some full size FETs on here, front and back, which I like to see. Direct solder options here if you'd prefer not to use the connector, which I really like. Very healthy sized uh, power leads and I really like how they leave you a little hole for plus and minus. That's super legible. And the other cool thing about that is you can actually drip some solder in there and really get a nice purchase on your connector. So let's wire that up so we can check out the LEDs. <laughs> 